Hey guys, what's up? So this video, let's take a look at multi sidechain sources. Now, the last video we did, uh, we did an instance where we had two sidechain triggers going through on the same sidechain channel, so that both were triggering a reverb. This video, I want to take a look at a fairly new feature in one of the VST3 updates. Uh, I believe this was available since QBS 11, and that is multiple sidechain banks or channels that you can set up. Uh, you can have up to eight of these, I believe. And it does open the door to some really interesting ideas that you could do with this. Uh, let's dive in. I'm going to take a look at an example for you guys. Right, so what I've got up here is just a couple of parts for a little musical idea. We've got uh, a kick drum loaded up in a sampler track. We've also got a little clap part playing here. got a vocal Again. and then to kind of fill up all the gaps I've got this pad sound loaded here playing some chords when Now, I really want to kind of create some movement in this uh, pad sound, but at the same time also make some room for everything else in this uh, in this little idea that I have here. And we're going to do that by setting up multiple sidechain sources into a frequency, which is the Cubase EQ. Uh, let's load up an instance of this now. And we'll take a look at setting up some dynamic EQ inside of this. So firstly, when you do set up the sidechain, you'll notice you can set up multiple sources of sidechains inside of this section here. But do bear in mind that these triggers are all going to the same sidechain channel. Now, the cool thing with this multiple sidechain setup is that you can actually flick between different streams of sidechains as well. So you could have multiple triggers inside of one band and then uh, create up to eight of these different channels of sidechains to trigger various different things in your plugins. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the kick as a source. We're going to have the clap as a separate source, and then we're going to have the vocal as well as a side channelable source. So we'll start off with channel one, which is going to be our kick. So we'll just add the kick in here. Then we're going to flick over to sidechain channel two. We can add in our clap on this one here, and we'll go over to sidechain channel three, add in our vocal on that one. And now we're good to go. Uh, all we have to do is just enable that sidechain. But let's first set this up. We're going to use only we're going to use only three bands. Yeah, we'll just disable these and we'll leave eight in as well. So let's set up the kick first. We'll double click on this one so we can bring up this uh, more sort of detailed editing page for the EQ band. Uh, we're going to set this one to a low shelf. Bring the gain all the way down. Let's bring up the frequency a little bit. So we're going to be ducking out all of that. Going to do something like that there. Uh, we'll turn on the dynamics. And in the sidechain section, you see by default, this is set to internal. Uh, what I'm going to do is flick this onto sidechain one, which means that we're going to be pulling the kick signal in here to duck that uh, EQ band down. Um, so that's set up now. We can jump into five. This is where the vocal is going to be. So this one, again, we'll turn on the dynamics and let's turn on sidechain three, which was our vocal. This is going to be controlling what's happening with this EQ now. We'll maybe just dial up the Q slightly. And the vocals take up a lot of the sort of mid-range area. So we'll duck out some of the mid-range here when those are playing. And lastly, for some extra movement as well, let's add in a uh, another band on H here. We'll enable dynamics once again, and the sidechain, we're going to set this to sidechain 2, which is going to be the clap channel that we had. Uh, this one as well, we'll set this to a high shelf. We'll bring the gain down, bring this a little bit down as well. So we're going to have some pretty extreme EQ dropping down there. So like I said, all we have to do now is turn on the sidechain and let's take a listen to what we have so far. But you can already see the vocal triggering this mid band kick very clearly is pulling out the 
low end and the clap we can make this a little bit more drastic and let's just play around with the settings for this so the kick for example we could maybe bring up the release time a little bit so it holds that uh that cut a little bit longer same goes for this one it's been there. Check out the vocal again. We'll leave this one at a sharp release time so that the vocal's only cutting it when it's playing, not too much release. When will I see you again? When will I there you go, there's some really interesting uh, movement happening there now from all these different sidechain triggers. And we could go and switch these up they don't have to coincide with their frequency counterparts uh, you could use the movement from the kick to do the top end if you wanted to so we could just go up to eight change this to side chain one and now it's going to be filtering the top end down from the kick too when will i see you And vice versa, we could actually be boosting stuff as well if we wanted to. So let's uh, let's add in a, another band here, for example, and enable band six. This time around, we'll use the clap, which is number two, and we will boost the levels around this sort of three K mark here using the clap side chain. So let's see what happens with this one. When will I see you again? Let's add in some release there. When will I see you again? When will I see you again? When will I see you Just for the fun of it, let's just do one more. Um, we can use the vocals then to maybe add a little bit of sparkle. It'll almost give you sort of like a vocoder effect where you'll be using the dynamics from the vocal to add in a little bit of brightness on the pads in places. So let's just add this one in. We'll go up and turn on dynamics again. This one will use sidechain three, which is our vocals. See you again. So you've got some really cool movement going there and everything is being taken. There's no automation or anything going on here. Everything is being taken from the track itself. So you're kind of mirroring a lot of the uh, elements in the track and kind of applying them into this rather sort of static pad sound to kind of really kind of make it breathe with your track. And as you can see with these eight bands, I mean, you can get a lot of different stuff happening from a lot of different elements in the track, all kind of filtering into one. And there's plenty of different applications for this as well. This will work with uh, anything that's enabled, any sort of VST3 plugin that's enabled with this multiple input sidechain stuff. The new FX modulator in Cubase 12 will allow multiple sidechains like this as well, and they can be routed to different effects. Should be able to do this with Squasher as well, for example. So if you wanted to do some multiband compression stuff, you come down to the parameter area here. Let me look at the sidechains. You also have your sidechain 1, 2, and 3 available here, so you can have... For each of these bands, you could be pulling in a sidechain from a different element of the track as well and ducking things in and out of whatever this is affecting. Cool. So I hope that 
explains the multiple side chain uh, channels in Cubase. And I will catch you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video, then smash a like. And if you want to be notified about new videos, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. Peace.